Hello, in this session we're going to be looking at adding users and administrators onto the Suprema Facelight Terminal. So I'm just going to zoom in, in a little bit so you can see the menu screen a little bit more clearly. So we don't have anybody enrolled on the device at the moment so it should allow us to go directly into the menu by pressing the escape key. And uh, the first option is user which is what we want so I'll press OK there and we wish to add a user so we'll press OK here. So now it's going to it's suggesting that uh, we need to get ready to start our en face enrolment. I'm just going to pan back a little bit so you can see what's going on. Um, it'll take about 30 seconds or so to complete. I'm going to start the process now. Okay, and that's it completed. Right, so um, once it's completed, uh, it gives us the option to change the uh, user ID, which is uh, the same as the PIN number, which is uh, in focus for each employee. So uh, let's press OK there. Now I've got to remember it's not a touch screen, so to change the uh, numbers, if I wanted to be uh, number 952 for example, I can just use the function key 2 to drop down to number 9, uh, press OK there, go, use function key 1 to go back to 5, it's like an old school mobile phone in a way, so, um, and then I can use the uh, cursor to get myself to the enter uh, button and we'll do that. So I'm now user ID 952. Now you can uh, use the um, uh, keys to enter a name if you want to do that but generally speaking we don't normally do that because uh, when you're using it with focus the name within focus for that employee can then be uh, part of the biometric template which is then sent back to the face station so uh, it, it means you don't have to bother entering the name on the device which isn't isn't the easiest screen to do so with. Um, if I wanted to, I can enrol uh, another face, which does sound a little bit odd, but if I wore glasses sometimes, then I could enrol myself with my glasses on. Um, I don't, so I'm not gonna do that in this instance, but it does give me the option of enrolling multiple faces per person. Um, now, I've also got the option of enrolling, uh, enrolling a card uh, or a fob. So um, if I wanted to check that out, um, I could uh, do that. So uh, there we are. I've just presented my my blue fob to this screen. I should have perhaps panned back a bit there, but basically the, the fob was uh, uh, presented about this area here. Um, so I'm happy with that. It's picked up the uh, number which is in, in coded on the, encoded on the fob. Um, so let's just uh, apply that. And save. So we have one face and one card enrolled. So if I wanted to, I could also have a PIN number. For example, I could set myself up to have a face plus PIN or card plus PIN, but that's not really what I'm interested in today. And here's where I can choose whether I'm an administrator user or a just a normal employee user. So an administrator can get into the menu uh, with their face or their card. Uh, they can um, add new users, they can change menu options. Uh, there are other different levels of operator such as the configuration um, operator which has got less power than the administrator so they do get to be able to change a few things. Um, and then uh, another operator level is user management where you, would, you can only go in and add employees uh, and edit employees. So I'm going to set myself up as being an administrator on here. Okay, so let's drop it down. I've got start dates and uh, expiry dates as to when um, I am valid on this particular device. So that seems to like be quite a large window uh, by default. So we'll just leave it as that. Um, and most of these other options we don't really need uh, for, for our purposes. So I'm just going to click OK to save and add that Enrollment user. Completed. So that wasn't too bad. I mean, I went through every option there. Generally, when you're enrolling a new employee, it just takes a few seconds to do, to go through that those menu options. So if I wanted to uh, come out of the menu now, and I wanted to try clocking, for example, 
I'm just going to access granted. Well, immediately, I'll perhaps scroll back a little bit so you can see a little bit of what's going on. Um, it's got to pick up my um, access granted made by the motion sensor, access granted. and it's very very quickly uh, recognised my face. Um, so uh, if it's struggling to find you a little bit because it's picked up on motion then you do get to see um, uh, like a reverse image on the screen so you can see where you are and where you're trying to position to but Access granted. it is more than likely that it will just uh, clock you in immediately without having to uh, ask you to sort of maneuver a little bit uh, closer to the screen or to the left or to the right okay so now that I've been enrolled as an administrator um, then it will only be myself who will be able to get into uh, the menu. So uh, if I possession my um, face now, there we are, it's, it's got straight into the menu. Uh, I've just positioned my face in front of the camera and uh, it's let me, let me straight in. So now as an administrator, I can now go into the menu and I could add uh, additional additional users. Um, I can search also search for uh, users to edit them. So if I went down here, I could do a search for a particular ID number, or I can search everyone. It's only got one employee that's found nine five two. I can click OK on that, and I can either delete that employee or I could edit them. So if I went to edit, and it gives me the opportunity of um, enrolling uh, another face or um, removing my original face enrollment and putting a different one on uh, should I have changed my appearance substantially. So uh, the other thing we haven't tried yet is to clock in and out using a card. So if I come out of the menu and I'll pan back a little bit. Uh, so if I was just to... Uh, present, Access granted. There we go. Present the fob. Access granted. So that's clocked me in just, just using the fob only. Access granted. And likewise, it should still be able to. Uh, Access granted. There we are. I've just looked in front of the camera and it's uh, clocked me in again just using my face. So it's given me both options there. So I think that's, that's everything we really wanted to look at in this session. Um, thank you very much for watching.